There's a new crew in town. This is a first set of North American construction workers and it's by Vice Brothers. They come in a small Vice Brothers branded box and the six figures are initially found resting in plastic formers. After tipping them out they're still resting and not one of them can be bothered to get up. They are not metal and the figures all appear to be hand painted. And to start with we have a guy on a mobile phone and the other one appears to be giving signals perhaps to a crane. Next up we have a guy on the left looking like he's pulling on a tagline. And on the right we have a woman who's probably going to be pointing at you. The only guy without glasses is a welder. And the last guy looks like he's about to tee off with a giant golf club. In terms of features none of the figures have moving parts, but the important thing we need to know is can they stand up? And the good news is that the figures appear to be nicely balanced, and with their nice big black boots with flat bottoms, they are able to stand on their own two feet. Of course the best use of these figures is for additional realism in posing models. So here the crew are assisting the assembly of a foundation rig. One guy steadies the Kelly bar, while another gives a hand signal, and a welder does some quick repairs to the auger. Here we have a mobile crane lifting a piece of steel and there's a tagline attached. So we can use our new guy to grab hold of that tagline and steady the load. Now that he's got hold of it and stopped it spinning, we can add another guy to give signals to the crane. And of course all construction operations need somebody whose job it is, is just to watch everyone else working. And to keep the crane driver alert, we'll have another worker hammering the bejesus out of the outrigger leg. Here we see again our man with the tagline. And just to make it easy for him to keep hold of the tagline, you can see that he's got a bit of plastic putty in his hand. It's good to see another set of construction workers that we can pose with models. And it's nice that this set has a North American flavour. The figures are all detailed and they're well made, and they certainly add a lot of interest to a model display. So if your models are feeling lonely and would like somebody with them, this set is very good. Mm -hmm.